Quick and easy ice cream pops for a crowd. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to do is grab an 8 by 8 inch baking dish that you're going to line with wax paper, aluminum foil, or parchment paper. And then you're going to take and crush 15 Oreo cookies or any kind of sandwich cookie that you want to use. Crush them up fairly coarsely, you put them in a bowl, and then you're gonna add three tablespoons of melted butter. Stir that around and that will be the base or actually the top of your ice cream pops. Spread it around into the, in the bottom of your eight by eight inch dish, just making sure that it's nice and even, and then put this in the freezer and freeze it for at least 15, 20 minutes before you go on to the next step. Once that's nice and cold, you can start layering your ice cream. Now I'm making a Neapolitan-like pop here, so I'm starting off with some chocolate ice cream. Now this particular ice cream that I bought is comes in a box, a cardboard box, so you're able to open the box up and then get some really nice slices, which makes it really quick and easy. So once you have about an inch of ice cream in there, take a metal spoon and just flatten it out and press it so that it's touching that bottom layer. Once that's nicely spread out, if you're getting a lot of melting, you can put it back in the freezer for 10, 15 minutes before you go on to the next layer. In this case, I was good. The ice cream was nice and cold, and I put on the vanilla layer, adding about an inch of vanilla ice cream and then smoothing it out with a spoon. And the final layer is this ice cream. Now, if this was Neapolitan ice cream, this would be strawberry but we actually prefer this black cherry flavor over the strawberry, so that's what I used instead. This was not the kind of ice cream that came in a box, it was in a plastic container, so I had to scoop that one out with an ice cream scoop. I just let the ice cream soften for about 10 minutes at room temperature to make it easier to spread. So I added that cherry ice cream on the top, and basically I went almost to the top of edge of the pan. And then you insert your popsicle sticks. An eight by eight inch pan should give you 16 pops. So just kind of distribute them so that they're more or less equal around the pan. And then throw this in the freezer and let it chill in the freezer for at least four or five hours. Overnight is best. You want them nice and firm because now we're gonna to want to cut them. Now, if, you, if your aluminum foil or your wax paper or parchment paper is long enough, you should just be able to lift that ice cream right out of that pan. But what happened in my case was uh, my wax paper wasn't quite high enough and some melted ice cream got between the pan and the paper and it really stuck. So I ended up prying it out with a sharp knife and then I was able to slice it up. And as you can see, all the little bits of wax paper all over as I was trying to pull on those edges. If you use long enough pieces of paper, you're not going to have this problem. So peel that wax paper off and then just use a sharp knife that you can dip into some hot water first to make it easy. And then just slice. And you have 16 ice cream pops ready in a jiffy. So you can quickly make this ahead. And when it's dessert time, if you have a party or a crowd that you want to feed dessert to, slice, 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 and everyone gets an ice cream pop super fast. You don't have to worry about fiddling with, with little pop containers or little plastic cups or little paper cups. And it's delicious. It's got a nice crunchy base or top, depending how you're holding your pop. And then of course has the ice cream layers and you can use whatever ice cream you want in this. And if you don't eat them all, just put them back into a plastic container and make sure that they're covered up and put it back into the freezer. I have a lot of great frozen treats on my frozen treats playlist, including other ice cream pops, ice pops. I have ice cream recipes, all sorts of great things that you can make in the summer to cool off with. So if you want to see this, go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the description box below the video. You just may have to click on show more. And now there's a cute little eye on your screen. If you, if you just hover over your screen, you'll find it. Click on that and you can access the playlist that way too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.